We are here at the former home of Isaac Hopkins, the first commander of the first U.S. Navy. Prior to being appointed in the Navy, he was commander of the slave ship Sally, um, hired by the Brown Brothers of Brown University. Myself, my family, the House of Glitter Dance Company has a two-year Parkus artist residency with the city of Providence. We've been tasked with engaging and grappling with the layered history of this space and exploring what it might look like to transform the space into an asset for the community. One of the greatest archival gifts of this residency is the John Carter Brown Library, which has an amazing archive of the first voyage of the slave ship Sally. A piece of research from the John Carter Brown Library really stuck with us. The woman who hung herself on the first voyage of the slave ship Sally. Our activist dance opera, The Historical Fantasy of Isaac Hopkins, represents the legacy that she left behind and the world of possibility of strength and resilience, imagination and creativity that she left for us. We have risen from the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean to share this story with you. One aspect of this work that I find super interesting and really important and relevant is the notion that BIPOC and queer art does not have to be a product of trauma um, and historical trauma and that there are ways to create around it. The healing became and began within us. This project does that by both addressing the historical trauma that exists, but also creating alternate worlds in which it doesn't exist and which there is free space to play outside of these notions. What brings the House of Glitter all together is our dance practice, our commitment to preserving, uplifting, and sharing the lineage of Afro-Latinx diasporic dance and movement. We work through movement to shift the energetic center of the universe towards queer feminist BIPOC liberation. Black lives matter, black trans lives matter. Black As a student at Brown, I found my passion for justice and education um, through the Engaged Scholarship Program. So I know the value of being able to apply research and scholarship and bring it out of here into here and into here. Last summer we had like seven Brown students um, doing virtual internships for the House of Glitter, doing research and prototyping, designs, and oh, what a blessing it was to have so much like creative energy. And one of those interns, Abby, just continued to show up. And we found so many beautiful alignments with her passions and scholarship. For my honors thesis in Africana Studies, I'm in part doing an ethnography project with the House of Glitter and particularly this project, the historical fantasy of Isaac Hopkins. What kind of inspired me is their call to heal their community through their art making practice. It's a story that will hopefully be an invitation to unite around the recentering of our systems, of our relationships, of our mindsets to be care-centered, healing-centered, liberation-centered.